Hi everyone, welcome back to another video and a very, very exciting haul. I think probably this will be one of my largest haul videos. I used to have a really, really large hauls probably two years ago, um, but I've been kind of slowing it down. But this haul here is a compilation of probably the past three months of both collecting in Taiwan and also collecting in the US. So this will be a very, very big chongi haul. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started and unbox everything. This is kind of a better view of of all the books that I have. I have this one very large box that I'm super excited for and that's actually the only unboxed box right here. All of these other ones I've already unboxed a while ago but I've just never gotten to show you guys. So yeah. So first I'm just gonna grab this fruit gummy box that I already see here. And we'll start with this one. All right, so these series, or most of these I believe, are from the manga convention that I went to a couple months ago. And if you guys haven't, please go ahead and check out that vlog right over here. It was such a fun time and I got a lot of series, but in Mandarin. So I have this one right here and I have a more detailed video coming soon of all the things that I got from um, the manga convention. So I will just briefly go over those right here. So this one is called Senning Cafe, Qingtian Cafe Guan in Mandarin. And this is a novel, I believe, and also a game. And of course the cover caught my eye. Here it is. And it came with a lot of goodies and freebies that I actually already took with me and started using. So I won't be able to show those here. But this is a novel right here. I haven't gotten started on reading this yet, but I'm really excited to do that and tell you guys how it is. All right, so moving on, we have a couple of series here. But anyways, this is Anoko no Toriko, and these are in Mandarin as well. So this is a shoujo manga, and I've already gotten started on reading this, but basically this revolves around the acting and modeling world. So basically this girl right here is a model and actress and him as well. And he has just joined the industry, but all of them are childhood friends who grew up together and they started to slowly grow apart after something happens between them, but they all reunite in this industry of acting and modeling. And so yeah, talks about passions and of course a lot of romance. So that was the first volume. Volume, and I have the first six volumes and I bought this at the manga convention. I actually already read a lot of this series when it first got translated online many, many years ago. Um, but yeah, I thought it would be cool to own the physical. Four, I really like the covers. Here's volume five, so cute. And volume six, super, super cute covers. All right, next up I see, this is Our Precious Conversations or by Robiko. I really, really like this series. I already read this and I collected volume one in Mandarin about two years ago. And so I decided it was time to pick up volume two and I think they actually stopped publishing this in Mandarin. So really sad about that, but at least I have two of them. So this series talks about this girl who has a crush on this guy and they end up talking every day while waiting for the train to come, I believe. This is a bit slower pace, it's not one of those you know typical shoujo romance series this guy is really really quiet observant but also very kind and caring and yeah they get to know each other through these conversations and we get to see those happening really really enjoy the series all right and then i see this series that i'm so so excited for and i actually didn't know that this was publishing in english right now which it is but this is called no longer heroine basically it means she's no longer the main protagonist or the heroine this was one of my favorite shoujo series of all time and so when i saw this set at the manga convention selling for pretty cheap, I decided to pick it up. And so this revolves around this girl who believes she's the main protagonist, which she is, but she doesn't know that. But anyways, so she has a crush on this guy forever, but he's been dating other girls and she feels like she's no longer the heroine of the show. But then she decides to take things into her own hands and she decides to make herself the girlfriend. And now looking back at it, this series does get kind of toxic with her way of thinking, but I think she really does grow <laughs> and develop as the series goes on. She can be a little bit intolerable at first, but it's really funny. The series is really humorous and so I really enjoy it. So there's volume one, here is volume two, and this is our main male protagonist. And just look at these faces, it's hilarious. Here's volume three, here is volume four. <laughs> The faces are just so, so funny. I really love the series. I would say this is probably my comfort series, honestly. Volume five, volume six, she's really, really gorgeous. Volume, volume seven, volume eight, volume nine, and last but not least, volume 10. 
I'll have to double check with you guys whether or not this 10 volumes is completed. I believe it is. But yeah, really, really excited to have this entire series. And I'm really glad to hear that it's publishing in English. But if I had known that, I probably wouldn't have picked it up in Mandarin. You know, <laughs> it's okay. Maybe I, I can have this series in multiple different languages. And let's move on to our last three volumes here. This volume continues on over there. So I'll put that over there and you guys will hear about it later. But this next one, you guys have already seen the series. I've been collecting this also for the past year. And so this is Hinata no Blue and I have volumes four and five right here because I already have volumes uh, one through three. But yeah, this series caught my eye because of its really, really cute art. And this is a shoujo series. That's Hinata no Blue. And now we're done with the first box. All right, guys, before we move on to the next package, I wanted to thank our sponsor for today, Pignon Scorpion and the Barbershop Detectives, and this is sold by Blackstone Publishing. So this book is a mystery and detective story written by Rick Blyweiss that literally grips you within the first few pages. So I'm a huge fan of mystery novels, so I was already enticed by the premise of the story, but the layout and the flow of this book actually made it impossible to put down after starting. I think I finished this book in two sittings, which is pretty rare for me as I think I read novels like this pretty pretty slow. So this was a very, very enticing read. So this novel is set in a small English town in the 1910s. And this revolves around our legendary famous detective, Pignon Scorpion, as you can see right here, who's known for his wit and his successes at solving mysteries. So he moves into a new town and he walks into a barbershop one day to get his shoes shined, his nails buffed by his old friend who runs the salon. And so it's at this barbershop where Scorpion learns of a recent mystery in town, a family affair. So Scorpion recruits the help of the folks situated at the barbershop shop during this exact time so everyone's sitting around him and together this team investigates multiple crimes throughout this novel so we get to see some extremely witty moves by these detectives by these barbershop detectives and all of these characters are so so incredibly charismatic and memorable I personally really love Billy and Thelma. Let me know which characters are your favorites if you guys have read this. So if you're a fan of mystery, some detective work, and just some fascinating conversations and stories, definitely check out Pignon Scorpion and the Barbershop Detectives. So you can order your own copy at the URL right here on the screen, tinyurl.com slash mangatama. So put some fun back into your reading with this classic throwback whodunit. And so yeah, I highly recommend this book. And the quality of the pages of this publishing is also very insane. So it just adds all together for a really, really splendid reading experience. So thank you so much to Pignon Sorbi and the Barbershop Detectives by Rick Blywise and Blackstone Publishing. Now let's move on to our next unboxing package. All right, next up we have this box right here. And so the first couple of books that I see up top, this is volume four and this is volume one, volume two and volume three. So in English, this series is called 17 Sai Kiss to Dilemma. It basically means 17 years old, kisses and dilemmas. <laughs> but yeah, so I have the first four volumes of this. And this is another shoujo series that I was obsessed with when I was younger. I believe I read all of this mangaka's works because I remember her art style so vividly. This is by Rina Yagami. And so here is some of that artwork. Very classic. It's very interesting because, so I actually just did some digging and researching into, you know, what the reception is on this manga. And I read up on a lot of details that I forgot about. So I'll give you guys a couple warnings about this manga. This is a shoujo manga between cousins. So these two characters are indeed cousins. Take that as you will. But in this beginning of the story, this male cousin right here is very much in an unrequited love with the girl. And so he kisses her many times while while she's sleeping. So there you go. That is the premise of the story. And a lot of people don't like this manga, which I just found out uh, when reading online reviews and things like that. But when I was younger, all I cared about was drama and romance. So I personally really love this, but definitely please, please only pick this up at your own discretion. That's that series. Next up, I'm really excited. We have some comics here. And so I really, really love collecting Japanese comics, but I haven't had the chance to. And they came with really, really cute items, which I don't have with me here, but you guys will see them in another haul video. So I'll just quickly show you guys what it looks like inside. I really, really love how it looks inside. But basically these magazines are a compilation of a lot of different stories and in new chapters or chapter ones from a lot of different series for you to get exposed to these and see if you want to pick them up yourself. But yeah, this is a Shokami publication and the pages are all, you know, different colored as you can see inside. 
And so all of the series shown in here are shoujo series. And honestly, after reading this myself, I really wanted to pick up like almost all of this series in this. And then we have another one right here. I believe this is from a different publication. And I really, really like these covers too. They always include a bunch of really, really cool things in here. Oh yeah, you, you have to rip this to see the poster, but I don't really want to rip it. So we'll see that later. Again, another shoujo compilation. And this one actually came with these like handheld fans. And the reason why we picked this up was because of this. I'm a skip beat fanatic, so <laughs> I had to have that. Just a lot of cute series. And yeah, I also really, really liked this back illustration. And here we have magazine number three, which I am so, so excited for. I've already unboxed this in a future haul video coming out, but I still wanna show you guys here. So this actually comes with its own tote bag. And this is probably the cutest tote I've ever seen. And it's like a pretty solid material as well. So this is the main reason why I picked up this book. And this is the main reason why I picked up this, but <laughs> let's take a look at what's inside here. I believe this is another shoujo publication. So I think this is not a shoujo publication. I'm not sure what genre um, this one is focusing on. It seems like honestly fantasy. Y'all will have to double check me on that. But yeah, these three are the comics that I got from this past Taiwan trip. Can't wait to collect more of these. All right, we have four units left and I'm most excited for this one. So let's go ahead and open this one next. These are wrapped so, so well. So the series I have here is Gantz. This entire box is Gantz and I'm so, so grateful to have had the opportunity to obtain all of these. I know this is a pretty hard series to get your hands on, especially in these single volumes. So yeah, let's go ahead and unwrap these. All right, so I got all of Gantz lined up right here. This is so, so exciting. I won't be unraveling all of these because I do wanna keep the rest of these in pristine condition, but I'm gonna unwrap that one and we can flip through the first volume together. So this entire series is in such good, good condition. I'm really, really happy to see that. So for those of you who don't know Gantz, Gantz is a very, very classic and popular series. And I actually have heard of Gantz ever since I started collecting manga. To be honest, it wasn't that long time ago, but I've always wanted to get my hands on it, but I just knew that it'd be really, really hard to get it. So here's volume one and Gantz is by Hiroya Oku, who is also pretty well known for some of his other works, but Gantz is the number one. And there also is an anime adaptation of Gantz that's also pretty popular as well. So as you can kind of tell from these covers and the artwork, um, for those of you who have never heard of Gantz, Gantz is a pretty action thriller series. Um, I've actually never read the manga. I've only watched the anime. So basing my kind of review and initial thoughts on that. But yeah, so Gantz basically revolves around these two high school students who end up actually getting killed because they were saving a homeless man from falling onto the train tracks. And our first high schooler is Chrono K. And so so here the homeless man is and they're trying to save him and they end up getting hit by this train and then these two high school students end up waking somewhere else and they actually find themselves in a completely different area and this is where they meet Joichiro Nishi, a Gantz veteran and a bunch of other people who have actually died and that is when the event Gantz starts and the Gantz spheres opens up and they're all given suits and weapons that make them have very strong strong abilities and when the Gantz sphere opens they have missions to accomplish. And then now their lives basically depend on this sphere. So they have to basically fulfill these missions. And there are many, many rules and options in this event. A lot of violence and gore in this series. And that is why it does say parental advisory, explicit content. But yeah, that is the premise of Gan. It's been a while since I've watched the anime. Apologies if I didn't explain this in the best, best way possible. But I'm so, so excited to read Gantz for the first time ever. And now that I have have the entire series volume 1 through 37. It's wonderful. I'm so so happy to have this in my collection. All right we're on to our last two units and this one is so so heavy but let's go ahead and see what we have. 
But let's go ahead and see what we have. So this box actually, it's a very, very cool story. So I didn't buy any of these. These were gifted to me by my mom's childhood friend who found out that I have a YouTube channel revolving around manga and she gifted me all of her old shoujo manga. So these are all from many, many years ago. These are all shoujo or jose series. To be honest, I've never heard of 90% of these series. So yeah, I'm so excited to kind of look through this and see what we have here. And so I'm gonna do my best to find the English translation of all of these. So if anything catches your eye, you're able to go and find it. And of course I'll put a synopsis on the screen as well if I'm able to find it. Yeah, this is the first series and let's take a flip. This is reminding me so much of Marmalade Boy. The art, it's insane. And so that was volume one and this is volume two. I think there's just these two volumes here. The next series I see is this one right here. And the art looks very, very interesting. And these are on Mandarin, by the way. So yeah, there's this series, that's volume one. And here is volume two. And wow, there's more. <laughs> And this is volume three. And let's see what we have next. We have this one, it's called Xingtiao 100. And this is looking more like a Jose series, honestly, guys. Like, this looks pretty steamy. <laughs> All right, guys, so that's volume one. And this is volume two, definitely a Jose, guys, steamy. And this is volume three right here. So I'm pretty sure this translates to Heartbeat 100. So, you know, if you guys are interested in what you're looking at, definitely go check this out. All right, and over here we have this one. This is about cats, <laughs> where the title is at least. Okay, I'm intrigued. Is, you know, what in the heck is happening with his hair? So some of these older series, it's just so funny because the premises are so interesting and wild. And then we have this one, it looks very romantic. Here we have volume two and I see a volume three. Let's see if we can get it. And here is volume three, gorgeous looking series. Here we have something to do with flowers and music, I believe. And this is volume six. Yeah, she plays the violin. Here is volume five, volume four. Volume three, volume two, and volume one. And something that I didn't know at was all of these are, all of these have sleeve protectors. So that's so amazing. So yeah, there are six volumes of this series. All right, next up, I'm just grabbing these at random. Ooh, this is looking like some dance sing series. So volume three and volume four. Volume two and volume one. So I do think that this revolves around dancing or some kind of waltz. This really reminds me of Rose of Versailles, the art style. All right, we have some here on the edges. So let's take a look at what this is. So these are one series. Just do a quick flip. And next we have this one right here. This is also giving Marmalade Boy. <laughs> this one called Shongmin Nuhai, double faced or two sided girl. This looks really interesting. And next we have this series, which caught my eye when I first saw it, just because of its very interesting title, which in English is Foreigner Guy Don't Touch Me, where he sounds very intriguing. So we know it has to do with some foreign guy. So I have five volumes of this one. All right, we're almost there, guys. There's so many series in here. It's incredible. This is Flying Towards New York. Two volumes of this one and here we have four volumes of this one and this is called which is glass angel heart the art looks really really good i really really am in love with this art style
This is literally just like the best package any shoujo or jose lover could. I'm just so overwhelmed and I have so much content to be reading. Here we have this series and this is called so like counting down five seconds. Two volumes of this series. This also has to do with time and seconds. Next up, there's this is called Wo Jia Xiao Mei. This is volume four, volume three, volume two, volume one. And here I see ballet wawa, so ballet doll. Ooh, this art style looks really, really dramatic, but in a good way. So volume six, volume five, volume four, volume three. I love these covers. Volume three, volume two, and volume one. This is the same mangaka as the other dancing series that we unboxed earlier. This is called Snow Angel. This is volume four. And this looks like a very similar art style to another series that we looked at earlier. Very distinct art style. So this is volume four. This is volume three, volume two, and volume one. Second to last series here, I believe, or something like that. And this is called The Feeling of Being Loved. Volume five, volume four. This is also looking like a more adultish <laughs> series, perhaps. Volume three, volume two, and volume one. That's this series. And last but not least, this is probably the only series that I know out of this entire box, and it is Mars. This is volume six. This is a much more popular um, series than all of the other ones, I believe, just in terms of the name. I think a lot of you guys know Mars. This is volume five, volume four, but actually I haven't read Mars yet, you guys. So I definitely need to get on that. Volume three, volume two, and volume one. So that's Mars and I have six volumes of that. That's it, you guys. Whew. You guys, last but not least, we finally, finally are down to this, this last package right here. So if you guys have been watching my manga shopping with me videos or um, follow me on my Instagram, you guys will know that I have picked these up, but let's go ahead and go through them really quick. So first thing I picked up was Ima Koi. This series is so interesting. Here's volume two and volume one. But yeah, I've already read these first two volumes ever since picking it up. And it's very, very cute. It's about these two high schoolers who don't really have much in common, but she ends up falling for him because she realizes, oh, he's very nice. <laughs> he's a very nice caring dude. And he's honestly in the beginning kind of nonchalant, but he's like, I'll give it a go and I'll date you and see how it turns out. And that's how their love story begins. It's so, so adorable. And I really need to pick up volume three. Volume two, it was okay. I've liked volume one better, but I also heard that it gets better. So I need to pick up volume three. All right, and this is Lovesick Ellie volume four. And I'm still only on volume two or three, I believe of this series. So I can't read this yet, but this is another shoujo series that I'm really, really excited for. And A Sign of Affection, Volume 5. Y'all know the deal with this. I don't need to describe this one too much, but super excited for Volume 5. I'm not gonna flip through it too much. Don't wanna give any spoilers. And next we have Weathering With You. And I recently actually watched Weathering With You movie. And so really, really excited to be reading this. I finally finished collecting the entire series after collecting Volume 3. Also love the soundtrack for this movie. It's great. And next up, we have My Dress Up Darling, volume five. Amazing series, loving the anime, loving all the merch that's coming out of it. So much merch exists for this series. It's kind of funny, love it. All right, and then we have our last pile here and we have two volumes of Penguin Drum. I hope that's how you pronounce it. But I read this series and it's very, very interesting so far about this girl who is very sick and only has a couple months left to live. But once she puts on this penguin hat, she gets a new life. But her brothers who care 
a lot about her. Um, let's see if we can find her brothers here. Yeah, her brothers are right over there, but her brothers have to basically fulfill missions and um, do things for this penguin hat so their sister can stay alive. So yeah, this is a romance series, I think too, but very humorous and a little bit mysterious. The art is adorable though. Next, I picked up Dream and Sun Volume 9, and I just saw this at Half Price Books and decided to pick it up. I am not caught up whatsoever or even finished with reading Dream and Sun, so I really need to get on this series, but Ichigo Takano, wonderful. And lastly, these three are my pickups from today, actually. So I don't think even Instagram knows yet about these, but this is Ultramaniac, and I have Volumes 1 and 2 of Ultramaniac, but wanted to collect the entire thing. I absolutely love the anime. I've never read the manga though, so we'll need to get started on that. About witches, schools, and it's about two girls and two guys, so it's a little bit interesting in the fact that it's not just one main protagonist. But yeah, this is a shoujo series with some very adorable characters and a little bit of witchcraft. And last but not least, I decided to pick up Love Me, Love Me Not. And I actually already have the series in Japanese, but I really, really wanted to get it in English too. But yeah, this is by Iosaki Saka, Chef's Kiss, one of my favorite mangakas are Harurai, Strobe Edge, and a lot of other great shoujo series. And yeah, Love Me, Love Me Not also has a movie, I believe, um, that I really wanted to watch, but never ended up getting a chance to. One reason that I picked this up was because Half Price Books is selling this for $4.99. Tell me if you guys disagree, but I feel like this is really, really cheap for some brand new, for some brand new volumes. Definitely decided to pick those up, and I don't have any of the English ones right now, so I'll have to pick up one and three and the rest of the series. Wow, guys, my eyes are so so overwhelmed right now. I don't really know what I'm looking at, but I would say this is the largest haul I've ever had. I love it. <laughs> so yeah, thank you guys so, so much for coming along. But basically all the ones on the left side here, so these two row columns as well as the back row are all Mandarin volumes. The ones in the middle are English and over there is Gantz. As you can tell, this is my humongous, humongous mammoth sized haul. As you guys know, this is not gonna fit on my shelf, guys. So you guys know what that means. Something exciting is coming soon and I can't wait to reorganize all of these because wow, <laughs> there's just too much. But yeah, thank you guys so, so much for coming along. And again, so grateful to all of you for making all of this possible. Have a blast if you guys are starting school and even a blast if you're not. <laughs> so, so yeah, thank you guys again so, so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!